The Mantle team was on the front lines of East Denver, and this was the insider scoop on L2s that we heard. Yeah, so they are built on top of, a lot of the times, on top of chains like Ethereum, um, where they use the security of Ethereum, but they give you additional speed and low transaction costs. L2 is really the security assembly for, for for the entire blockchain ecosystem, you know, if you want Ethereum to be available to the mass, you know, it is essential that we start to build up all these like application chains or like L2 chains that can kind of distribute the heavy loads from Ethereum all the way to, to other chains so that make Ethereum more available to everyone else. Just that how much faster and cheaper transaction costs can get and how much greener it can get as well. Um, the use of L2. So yeah, I, I know that over time Ethereum has gotten more energy efficient and the gas fees has reduced, but L2 is taken to whole another level. Each L2 are also becoming their own ecosystem, rolling out their own products. So people need to just like experiment with more of like, different products that are offered by the L2s. And, and knowing that uh, a lot of the L2s are stress tests and they're really safe to use. So I think the big use case for L2s is growing the ecosystem and bringing new people in that wouldn't otherwise be able to afford paying the transaction fees or um, enable us to pay on behalf of our users for every transaction rather than just a few particular transactions. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm very excited about all the use cases and we're really just touching the surface. Like there's a huge amount of use cases that we're like kind of conceptualizing, but then we haven't even thought to actually try to implement. And as we go in and try to answer some of them and as the L2s start to really exist in a, in a way that I can use them, that's gonna open up more use cases that we haven't thought of before. L2s has been just like a, a sort of like another pay, a place for Ethereum applications like you know DeFi, NFT and stuff, which, you know, I guess it's cheaper to run on L2, but also I would like to see more robust applications that is available for the mass. It's like, you know, some really fancy games that we just play normally in Web2, but if we can kind of just connect that to the blockchain world via a layer two, if Ethereum is too heavy cost for them. that some people are very happy to, to just sit there and try and figure out and work through the bugs themselves but I like to, to go online look look for what people are saying uh, go on github see the kind of open repos on, on people who've done stuff in the past that's just how I work I, once I've seen something I'm like okay that makes sense they've managed to get it working this way so it makes a lot of sense to do it that way so I think development develop a community first and foremost uh, I think you know events like this being involved with the community like I mean there, there are a lot of chains and networks that want people to build on them but I never see them at any of these at Ethernet and they never have a presence, they have no one I, I know to speak to and I'm just never going to, I'm not going to name them, but I'm just never, there's no way I'm ever going to build on them without having a face. When I know someone is only a telegram away in terms of a, answering a question or figuring out why I'm getting this strange error that I've never seen before, those, those are always going to be the ones that I go to first.